In this video, let's explore how to format an XML document in Visual Studio Code. Now, to just to give you a context, like I have a Visual Studio Code installed within my system. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what, you what I mean by formatting first. OK, to start with, uh, I need a some sample files. OK, so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to just uh, generate a file. So in order to generate a file, I'm making I'll be making use of Copilot. So I'll say uh, generate uh, HTML code with table of five rows. So I'm just generating HTML code with the table of five rows. So I'm just gonna copy this code and I will paste this code over here. So I'll click on new file and I call it as test.html. Create it on desktop and I'll just paste it. So here, what has happened is like I've formatted code over here. Now I'll disturb the formatting. Okay, so I'll just disturb the formatting over here. And now if I want to format the HTML code, what I'll do in Visual Studio Code is just do a right click and click on format document. And my code will be automatically formatted. Now this works for JS, it works for your JSON. So uh, and then let, let's say by working on JSON. So if I have a JSON file, so I have the JSON file over here. So let me copy this JSON file. And I'll go in VS Code, new file, abcd.json. And here I'll paste the JSON file. So let me disturb the JSON over here. So I'm just disturbing the formatting of this JSON. Just to show you that if you have this JSON file, you can actually format the content over here. So I'll do a right click and I do a format document. And once I do a format document, it will automatically format it. Okay. Now let's take an example of XML file. So what happens with an XML file? So in order to do that, I need to create an HTML file, XML file. So let me make use of GitHub Copilot. So I'll say new file and say sum.xml, okay? Now here, I will say create XML file with 10 records of books. And Copilot is going to generate an uh, XML for me and it is all nicely formatted and it will generate some 10 records and I'll say, okay, this looks good to me. I'll click on accept and this is the code. Now let me disturb this XML format. So I'm just disturbing the XML format. Now, like how we did for HTML and JSON, I'm just going to do a right click and say format document, but there is no format for XML, right? So in order to format your XML content, what you need to do is you need to make use of extension. So in extension, uh, if it is selected as enabled, what you can do is like click here, cancel this part. Uh, you can view the built-in, enabled, disabled, all those kind of things filtering over here. But you, what you need to do is like you need to search for XML formatter. Okay. Now there are multiple tools which are available in the market. So there's XML formatter, there's XML tools, pretty XML, and then there might be uh, an XML for from Red Hat as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna make use of XML formatter. I've already installed it previously, so I'll just click on enable now. In your case, you need to install this. So what happens once you have this XML format tool installed? You go into your XML and if you do a right click, you get an option to format the document, right? So now if you see over here, this is your document. This is your XML document. You click on format and it'll say configure the default formatter. Now I'll just say configure and I have this configuration from this XML formatter and now my XML is formatted. You can make use of other XML formatter as well. So there is an XML tool over here. So XML by Red Hat, you just install or enable in your system. And then accordingly, once it is installed, you will get an option uh, format document. Now, as you see over here, you have got two options now. Earlier, you just had format document. Now you have format document with because you have two XML formatter installed within your 
visual studio code so it will ask you to select which one you want so i'll just say first let's disturb the formatting of xml so i'm just disturbing the formatting and now i'll say format document with now i have xml and xml formatter now this time i'll say i want to format it with xml not with xml formatter and this is how it will format the xml now if you click on settings over here you will have other options to disable install a specific version uh, and you can even navigate to the settings so this is the settings for xml uh, extension and there are like a lot of options over here so you can configure the colors you can configure code lens catalogs and whole bunch of things over here uh, so all these things can be configured similarly for xml formatter you click on settings over here and then you get an option to uh, either uninstall or install a specific version and you can configure your tool accordingly so this is like a short video just to show you that xml formatting is not available by default in visual studio code so if you want to format xml unlike html or json or javascript you may need to make use of xml formatter so that you can format the document accordingly and this is useful when you are working on uh, say xml related codes like say fetch xml now this is pretty much important and if you want to format those xml uh, yes this is a useful utility useful extension which you can add in visual studio code to format your xml document so that's it folks thanks for watching